Welcome to the Beginner's Guide to Trading CFDs with Small Accounts and the Expert Forex Profit Retriever. Before we get the subject matter, we have this important risk disclaimer to review. Futures, options, and currency trading all have large potential rewards, but they also have large potential risk. You must be aware of the risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in these markets. Don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. This is neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell futures, options, or currencies. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profits or losses similar to those discussed in these videos. The past performance of any trading system or methodology is not necessarily indicative of future results. As a beginner, you should only work with demo accounts until you build a track record of profitability. Don't let trading snobs goad you into risking real money until you're ready. If you trade this strategy 100 times and win more often than you lose, and your losses are smaller than your wins, you will be ready to move to trading with real money. Demo accounts are your laboratory in which you learn and make your mistakes. Now, let's start learning about what you are trading. Contracts for differences, CFDs, are a derivative of U.S. futures contracts. Broadly speaking, they cover both U.S. and non-U.S. stock indices energy commodities such as oil and natural gas, and agricultural commodities such as soybean, cocoa, coffee, cattle, pork bellies, and so on. The strategy in our test video and being discussed here is for the NASDAQ 100 stock index. As prior noted, CFDs are a derivative of U.S. futures contracts. Their prices track U.S. futures contracts. Fundamental news on U.S. futures for a specific instrument can be applied to the same instrument in CFD form. Whereas U.S. futures are exchange traded, CFDs are broker traded. CFDs are loosely regulated. Brokers can write their own specification and lot sizing, contract sizing can vary wildly. For this reason, CFDs are illegal on U.S. broker accounts and must be traded offshore. Certainly, protecting our homegrown futures contract markets had to factor into that legislation. CFDs have huge volatility, which means huge price swings. A small price move can either earn a large profit or left unchecked can cause a major or even complete loss of your account. Even experienced traders in other markets should stay humble and consider themselves as beginners here. CFDs are a take the money and run market. Here, we don't let our winners run because winners can turn to losers in mere seconds. On the 945% test, it took 24 hours to achieve that return, but the 92% drawdown came in as many minutes. These are not markets to linger around in trades too long. The overarching trading philosophy here is take the money and run, and that will be the recurring theme through this video. Don't be this guy. You know, the trader who wants to plug and play and set and forget their way to instant riches on someone else's set file, of course. The CFD markets chew guys like this up and spit them out. Don't be this guy because you'll end up being this guy. Oh, and he makes a cameo appearance. Instead, you want to be this guy, present, engaged, 
ready to work and learn both the market and the system you're using to trade it. This does not mean overmanaging or micromanaging your trades. It does not mean sitting like a zombie glued to your chart. But it does mean you're minding your store and you're ready to take action should prices start turning against you. When you trade CFDs on small accounts, you must understand that you are taking a calculated risk. The $1,000 you are trading should be considered mad money or fun money. It is no different than going to a casino with an amount of money you can afford to lose for entertainment. Any trading should be done only with money you can afford to lose. Of course, you're not trading a strategy or a system to lose money. The point of this video is to give these trades a higher probability of winning. Traders should understand that both rate of return and drawdown numbers are very large for these small $1,000 accounts. Our prior video spoke about a 945% peak rate of return in one trading day with the profit retriever on a $1,000 account. If that same series of trades was taken on a $100,000 account, our peak rate of return would have been 9.45%. Don't lose your perspective getting starry-eyed over large rates of return. Now, we're going to take you through the thought process you need to follow before you load your chart and the profit retriever and start executing trades on the NASDAQ 100. Your first order of business is fundamental news. You want to know any planned reports that can affect the index's price. CNBC and the Wall Street Journal are excellent sources for this information in the United States. The Financial Times is also excellent. Never forget that breaking news can change a stock index's price direction immediately. So you need to keep your eyes and ears open on breaking news before and during your trades. Now you can go to your charts. What's price doing? Is it trending up, down? Is the market range bound, consolidating? This should be clear looking at a naked chart. As the tested strategy is trading the 20 simple moving average on the hourly, this is your execution chart. Your H1 chart should have the 20 simple moving average loaded. You want to see which direction the system will start trading and could add its top ups. Loading the daily chart with the 200 simple moving average gives you the long term trend. Obviously, you have a higher probability trade setup if price is above or below both the hourly 20 and the daily 200. Doing this simple multi time frame analysis before starting the system will vastly improve your odds of success. With only the profit retriever and no equity stops placed, this is an all or nothing trade when taken on a $1,000 account. You could double your account or even more, but you could also lose the entire account, like Humpty Dumpty. Remember that 945% with almost no drawdown on the way up was achieved during an historic bear run that immediately preceded the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Price continuing on the same direction for the NASDAQ 100 for 24 hours straight is not a daily occurrence. It's arguably quite a rare occurrence. Do the multi time frame analysis a few times and that will become very clear to you. By adding the account protector on a separate chart with a low equity close of 50% and a high equity close of 200%, we now have a profit retriever system that is far safer to trade on a $1,000 account. The 50% low equity close will allow most of the NASDAQ's normal price swings. 
Here is what your charts would look like with the profit retriever set the trade, the tested strategy, the account protectors equity close settings, and the daily chart for our multi time frame analysis. And here is what your charts look like showing the actions the account protector takes upon hitting an equity close. Now, let's follow the process. You start trading your $1,000 balance. With the account protector managing your trades, you will either double your account or lose 50%. If you double your account, you have a decision to make. Withdraw the profits or leave them and start another trade sequence. On the downside, while losing 50% is not what we aspire to, it's still half of what we could lose without an equity stop. You would reassess how you implemented the strategy, go back to demo, add capital back to your account, and try again. When you've doubled the account, the safest decision is always to withdraw your profits. Some market conditions may suggest a second run. You should perform the same fundamental and technical analysis you did for the first run. Then you would make the final decision to withdraw or execute the second run. There is nothing complex about manual intervention on the software side. Your dog could execute the two easy steps you will learn to start a new trading run. The complication lies in human judgment, discernment, and trading psychology. The decision to restart trading on a doubled account can be even more risky than the initial trade run because now you are well into the price move. You could be entering at a price turning point. If you start the system for the old trend and the price turns to a new one, you will find yourself in a large drawdown very quickly. Just understand that your decision to go for a second run in a single trading day has lower probability of success than the first. When account protector reaches an equity stop and takes its actions, you will need to close your profit retriever run by clicking the close run button. This needs to be done even if there are no open trades. The profit retriever will not start trading again until the run is closed. Once the run is closed in the system and you turn auto trading back on, the new run will begin immediately. Do not click the auto trading button if you do not intend to start the run. You can safe off any EA by unchecking the allow live trading box in the common dialog. You must recheck the box for new trading to proceed, even if auto trade is turned on. This is a best practice to stop uncommanded and unintended trading, which could happen if your MT4 platform closes abruptly without being properly shut down. Do not take more than two trading runs in any single trading day. If you have achieved two profits in one day, stop. Just don't do it. The simple reason I say this is a personal observation I have made using many EAs and in manual trading. When you have a good two trade run, that third trade is always a big loser. Always. This is the give back. This is the trade that destroys all the good work you did that day and eats into your starting capital. With these little accounts, that could mean losing a major portion or even all of it. Late continuation, trend exhaustion is at the root of most givebacks. Just don't do it. Make it your personal policy. No givebacks. With CFDs, remember, take the money and run. Don't linger with these trades. 
If you're in profit and you see prices starting to turn against you, get out now. You need to have the mindset of banking your unrealized gains. Most especially if breaking news occurs that would send investors into a panic, buying or selling. It only takes a few minutes or even seconds for your winning trades to become losers. Take the money and run and don't look back. That's how you succeed in these CFD markets, especially with small accounts. You can buy the Expert Forex Profit Retriever at the link below and also in the video description. The Account Protector is not an Expert Forex product. However, version 1.06 is available for download in the Expert Forex Free Money Making Tools Forum and that will be linked in the video description.